Hidden Object Guru here with Hot New Game Forest Home. The publishers were nice enough to send me a copy of this, and normally I don't play a ton of just puzzle games, but it looked like uh, it was one of my favorite kind of puzzle games. Some sort of Red Riding Hood, although... It's weird that she wears a riding hood when she's always depicted walking places. Maybe that's not a contradiction. Just seems strange to me. Okay, let's do... Ooh, spin the totem to win prizes. Alright, let's do it, Roger. Anyway, one of my favorite types of puzzles... Uh, okay. Are the interlocking string puzzles where you have to match a bunch of gears in a grid? Thank you. Aww. My god, he's too cute. And it seems like that's what this whole game is. Just different iterations of that type of puzzle. Where you have to do sympathetic routes that weave around one another without ever crossing. Okay. What? We can buy new animals for quick puzzles. Oh, that was easy. Alright, so, for example, here... No, you don't need to tell me. That's fine. Tell me if you want. Alright, let's do this. Watch out for the goblin. Tap the hit button to automatically complete a single move. To Oh! By the way, uh... No, I'm not going to try using a hint below. Again, this is one of my favorite kinds of puzzles. I'm not going to get defeated by the 4x4 ones. Well, we're up to like 4x8. Yeah, okay, that's going to be problematic. Oh, I have to fill more squares. Okay. Restart. Alright. I feel like if they wanted me to fill a certain amount of squares, they should say so on the screen. Shouldn't they? What? Nuts to you, pal. Alright, so how does this work? That's pretty adorbs. So they just gave that one to me for, uh... Like, that's automatically always 50 the first time you do that, right? That's right, my emblem is a uh, Pikmin. Because why wouldn't it be? Pause! Oh, look at that little guy. Alright, so, uh, okay... Okay. I should probably use the uh, directional pad rather than doing this the uh, with a thumbstick, which is invariably harder to control. Thank you. All right, what this time? Oh. Right, I already did the hardest one. <laughs> like, why is this so much easier? You did the hardest one first, dummy. Please. Damn. God, these animals are almost too cute, aren't they? So yeah, in the same way that I really liked uh, pixel colors, because it was a type of puzzle I already liked and it was just well presented, I think I'm going to have a similar reaction to this thing. The one difference between this and the versions of these puzzles I traditionally do is... Generally, they're like, take the most direct path to get there, but here they're like, no, in addition to getting there, you have to completely fill up the screen. And that's fine, it's just, it's not how I'm used to doing these puzzles. What the hell just happened? Alright, so let me just restart. Dear game, you should have a restart button. Gah! Okay, I didn't mean to use a hint. I was so, trying to see if there was a uh, erase your last move button. There doesn't seem to be, though. Seems like that would be a good addition. Oh. Is there anything cuter than a bunny waving to you? I mean, yeah, there is, but not a ton. Come on, 
Ooh, give me the good word, buddy. We're gonna have to try spending some of those in a minute, aren't we? So who's this goblin we gotta watch out for? Yes, let's check out the animal store. Okay, collecting animals, picking animals for each path. What? Oh. And complete quest 140? So this is a huge game then. Alright. Wait, you told me I was ready to buy a new animal. Oh, there they are. Okay, I see. Unicorn? And so from now on, it's going to be green. I get it. Okay, and I can make that one snake and blah, 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 blah. I gotcha. Uh, yeah, I want to look at a diary entry. Oh. oh my god, these guys are so cute. He likes hip-hops and he hates magic tricks. Why does Logan dislike vampires? Okay, you need to tell me more about this goblin. Also, and I can't stress this enough. So what is quick play? It's bad that I felt a need to... Uh... I mean, I guess I could have done that with the green guy going an extra two steps, but I think it's a, 50, a 601 type situation. So what is quick play? Oh, neat. There are nine to nine puzzles? Oh. Oh. That's pretty cute. All right, so let's just do the next uh, puzzle. I can't believe that there's like 150 quests. <gasps> Bear! My god, that's amazing. Alright, so let's start with you. I'm so used to doing... The one thing I will say, and this isn't a big criticism, is it is easier to do this with a mouse, just sweeping a mouse across the thing. And we're not playing this with a controller and I can just swipe my hand across the screen. I feel like this would be a smoother experience. I assume you can do that, right? Yeah, of course. Okay. I just love these puzzles. Alright, so, uh, we need to get red there, which actually seems like it's going to be a little bit of a challenge. That is, in case you're wondering, is there a secret to doing this kind of puzzle? The secret is, figure out which is the hardest one first. Like, which is the most difficult one to organize first. And then just do that one. And then the rest of them just come to you. Uh, okay. Let's see. Well, obviously, you have to go... Hmm. Oh, I see. See? exact same type of situation and oh my god these animals are so adorable see they've gotten just done such a stellar job of taking one of my favorite kinds of puzzles added in some shockingly cute animals some animals so cute that it's hard to look at them and been like yep this is how we're gonna make you uh, sign off on our game one thing, and this is not a criticism, but it is an observation. If there is a puzzle where you don't have to complete all the tiles, but you can... Sorry. I guess there's never a one where you don't have to complete all the puzzles. What I'm saying is, like, give me a heads up in advance, because my instinct is always going to be, is always going to be, let's take the most direct path, right? So just give me a heads up if I need to do more than the basics. Oh, what? You didn't need to tell me that, don't worry. 
Again, I've been playing a bunch of puzzle games lately, and just the fact that this one gives you, has hints for every stage, right alone puts it, you know, head and shoulders above 80% of the other games I play. How, how shall I put this? And this is frustrating to me that I have to say it, but... Oh my god, I just realized something. I've got to check this. Watch out for the goblin! Okay. Alright, uh... Uh, okay. You know, I still haven't seen this goblin, and we're four levels into the game. I should really check to see if you switch what the animals are. If they want to eat different food. Like, are they just going to say that all green animals eat berries? And all red animals eat bones? And all yellow animals eat, uh... What was it? Like... A rib roast? I've already forgotten. Because I guess bunnies can eat berries, right? I think of them as eating leafy greens. Not so much berries, but I guess there's no reason they couldn't. I don't know a lot about bunny biology. I know they don't like carrots, but that's basically all I know. There's a mole, everybody. We're gonna get a mole. So this isn't random at all, right? Every time you get a specific thing. Just looks random. So tell me more about this chest. Pink rabbit! Alright, so let's try using the pink rabbit. Very excited about the prospect of unlocking that unicorn, but the amount of money I would have to get, dear lord. Oh, these are all five by five. Okay. Oh! The bee's name is Rose! I don't know. Oh, because bees like flowers. Yes. Okay, that actually makes perfect sense. Did not mean to select you first. I was totally going for Rose. Clicked too fast. Oh, pink money! Hopefully I'm going to find out if the berry situation works. It's interesting, because putting the food there serves only to give you a hint about which way to go. It was a drumstick. And the weird part is, so Pixel Colors uh, is an interesting game. I don't know if you've seen that one. It's by the Pixel Lines people. Sorry, Pixel Lines is interesting. It's by the Pixel Colors people. It's uh, the thing where you have to draw a picture by linking a series of colored lines, right? And the interesting thing about it for me... There we go. And so I assume I'm going to have to take up the extra space with this guy here, right? Yeah. So anyway, as I was saying... Uh, the interesting thing about it for me is, uh, this game has a lot in common with that, because it's all about drawing lines in a specific order, and you end up with uh, something of a cute design. Whereas there, it's supposed to come up with a picture, but it's not really that different, because each animal has a prescribed... The whole point of pixel lines is, so it's like, the line linking these two spots has to be 11, and it doesn't tell you how to get that 11 there just tells you it has to be 11 squares, and it's your job to work it out. Here, it's kind of the same thing, except they're going to tell you how long the lines are supposed to be. you got to figure that part out for yourself. What is that duck? Oh my god, if I get the duck, do I unlock a new character? I guess I won't find out this time. So is that 10 or 30 I win? It's 10. I feel like it should have been 30, but... What did we get? Aww. The Bee Gees. Just like surfing? I don't get it. So these are all... But I thought bears liked port. So confused. Isn't like the most famous story about bears how they like porridge? What the hell? That's a twist I wasn't expecting. Are they gonna hug? Please tell me they're gonna hug. They're not gonna hug. At least high five, dudes. Alright, so what are we doing? Yes. Uh, 
That was a complication, I will admit, I was not expecting. Aww. So yeah, obviously Forest Home is doing a great job. And it's exactly as cute and fun as you want this type of puzzle to be. I love this kind of puzzle anyway. So just adding this extra layer of super adorable animals with pun names. Obviously, it's going to be sold from my point of view. Uh, okay, so you go up and around. Is this a game for children? Am I playing a game for children? I mean, I don't want to say yes. Obviously, I'm playing a game for children. And normally... Oh! Well, this has taken a turn, hasn't it? Uh, I guess... Yeah, okay, that actually does make sense. Yeah, it's those extra spaces that con uh, confuse me. Because, again, I'm getting used to it, but it's not how this kind of game is normally played. I want that unicorn so badly. Oh, free spins! That's what the totem means. We're unlocking a duck! Oh. I thought I was specifically was gonna get that one. Alright, so here's the question. If I switch to polar bears, is it still gonna want to eat salmon, or is it gonna uh, suddenly want to eat uh, seals? That was weird. Hey, when's the new Pikmin game coming out? It's gotta be soon, right? Like, I don't know for a fact that they are... No! Oh, went too far, sorry. Anyway, I don't know for a fact that they are working on a new Pikmin game, but, you know. Considering that Pikmin is, I'll say it, the best original property that uh, Nintendo has. Take that, The Legend of Zelda and Mario. And I guess, what, Mario Golf? What else have they got? I'm kidding, I remember Metroid. But, uh... Yeah, guys, give us give us more of that. Do 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 do. No, I want to see if he eats seals instead of salmon this time. Yeah, it's carrots. They switched it to carrots. It's be it's uh berries for deer, carrots for uh, bunnies. And I'm so contemptuous towards the lie that. Uh, bunnies like carrots, then I'm going to switch it back to the deer, just so I don't have to look at that filthy lot. Ah! My hand slipped. There we go. God, it's so cute. Yeah, because you see, this is actually considerably easier than a pixel lines type of situation. I can't believe I only get, like, one acorn per star. I feel like I should be getting way more resources than this. Anyway, as I was saying, uh, in a pixel line situation, you have X amount of spaces and no idea how many each one has to be. Whereas here, because it's such a small layout, you have a really good sense of where everything is supposed to go. Uh, you probably just go there, don't you, Mr. Bear? Although I can't say that for sure. It's possible you're supposed to go somewhere else. Uh, nope, we're gonna, we're gonna say that was right. So, wait. No. Sorry, my bad. Uh, yeah. Okay, nope. That was ridiculous. Bear with me, please. It's just so important to think things through. There we go. Saw a bunch of extra spaces and I realized, no, it was just the green guy who needed to do the extra spaces. Wish we could speed up the spinning. If I have one complaint, can I, can I speed up the spinning? No. It's like every other thing I do in the game I have some involvement in and then suddenly we're just doing a roulette wheel. I'm like, 
I know it's just 10 seconds. Come on, guys. Oh! Naked Mole Hedgehog. Flowers, okay. Trees, squirrel, grass. <gasps> Sugar Glider, monkey! Reindeer for Sky. Oh, that's such a cute joke. I think we all know Tasmanian Tiger sounds cute. Is that a different thing than Tasmanian Devil? Probably. Although I can't say for sure. <gasps> His name is Penfold! And he wants to go to a burrow. My god, what a cute little guy. Uh, yes. Oh my god, he's rolling around. Why is this game so dangerously cute? That took me too long to figure out. So yeah, Forest Home. Just some top-notch string puzzles. You know, exactly the way you want it. Alright, so here's the challenging part. I think I'm supposed to go for you to here. Actually, it's not challenging at all. For some reason, I thought somebody was going to have to, like, uh, use some extra spaces, but no, the answer is they didn't. Okay. It's bad that even though I'm the one who specifically said let's bring the polar bear along on this action, I still get confused when I see that he doesn't have to go to, like, an ice cave or an iceberg to sleep. No, just a regular cave. The game's treating him like he's a normal bear because it's just a, uh, a new skin on the bear character. All right. Well, obviously you go here. Oh, wow. I just noticed what we're supposed to do with the uh, deer. What can I say? I mean, my, my like instinct is, let's get these guys home in the shortest way possible. And I have to fight against it, because that's how the game is designed. Which isn't a complaint, it's just an observation. And wait a minute, 1,600. But I'm only getting three stars per, so unless I start getting, like, 50s all the time when spinning, it's, isn't it going to take us forever and a half to unlock that, uh... To unlock that unicorn? If I buy nothing else, that's still 300 levels. Alright, so how do we do this? I think I've already screwed up. Oh, no! Okay, there's a second fox. Okay. I didn't realize there was a second fox. Thought I had massively mis-aimed my B or something. Cute! Well, I think... I think I'm ready to, you know, give my statement about this one, which is... It's delightful! It really is. I love this type of puzzle anyway. This is a very great representation of this type of puzzle. What little changes have they, they have made has only made it more entertaining to me. So thumbs up to Forest Home if you like this kind of cute string puzzle game. Anyway, I've been the Hidden Object Guru. Thanks for coming on this journey with me. If you had a good time and you'd like to see more, there's buttons for that coming up. Questions, suggestions, related whatnots, go in the comment section below the video. I will see you back here for more new and upcoming games. But until then, au revoir.